Hey, hi, hello. I know it's been a minute, uh, but I'm sure that we've all seen the new Monster Hunter Wilds trailer and myself, just to get this out of the way, super hype, super, super hype. I don't know how anybody could be anything less than hype as a Monster Hunter fan after watching that trailer. I feel like it's given something for everybody, even like the old school peeps, the, the new generation hunters, everybody. I feel like they're kind of giving something to everybody whether it's survival mechanics, whether it's just straight up beating up a monster, or just having a ton of monsters. What you might not have known is that there was a demo that a lot of people got to see, and a lot of people have like compiled bullet points, things that they saw in the demo that they thought were standoutish, different things. But regardless, you should definitely check those lists out because there is a lot of really, really, really good things that people were able to take away from these demos. One of these things in particular, that was taken away from this demo we need to talk about. So in one of the questions uh, they asked as far as like if any of the weapons were going to be getting a big overhaul and they used Hunting Horn and Rise as a specific example. Now when I was reading this I did not expect Hunting Horn to be in the answer at all. All. But here we are, because they literally say, so the light bow gun and heavy bow gun have received some of the most kind of broad action changes, as well as the hunting horn. Now, surely that was it, and that's what this entire video is about. Wrong. The hunting horn is going back more to a world basis of the action. But on top of that, it's also introduced a lot of other changes. The amount of people that sent this to me, I love you, I appreciate you. You, but like it made me excited because I know that I'm not the only one that is excited for this return to form I guess you could call it and that's kind of what I've been focusing on more because obviously they also threw in that a lot of other changes and we have no idea where that's going to go and I mean we've seen where those changes can go so obviously that part of it I'm a little bit like hesitant and kind of I'm still optimistic but still a little bit hesitant but that return to form the world basis that is what I'm clinging to, and that alone has me super hyped for what's to come. Now, one of the things that I guess was technically kind of like confirmed, I feel like we all knew that it was the case, but it's like officially confirmed since they're like talking about it more, the fact that you can bring two weapons on a hunt. Now, I know obviously a lot of people are thinking, you know, like status and raw or like element and raw, element and status, bring this and that, or just two different weapon types altogether. Myself? I'm thinking about the potential of having unlimited buffs. You bring one hunting horn that might be attack up XL, you bring another one that has more utility songs, and you're just prepared for an absolute party. A lot of people would feel like if they didn't bring a horn that had like attack up L or something of the sorts, that they were kind of like missing out on a lot of potential and would not skew towards like the more utility based song list. So this is going to kind of help to rectify that in a sense, because you'll be able to bring in that attack up L staple horn, but also bring utility when you swap to your other one. Maybe you're playing with a longsword loving squirrel and they try to counter an attack and end up getting put to sleep. Maybe there's a certain Kieran lover that gets a little bit too close to Kieran and then they get paralyzed. Well, now that we can bring multiple horns, we can buff up our fellow hunters and also better protect them in the meantime. Now, I noticed some people switching out your horns and constantly keeping up melodies is going to be crazy, but to me, it sounds like so much fun. And now, even while I'm recording this, the thought just popped into my head. This is also going to give more credence to songs like All Melodies Extended. It's going to be a blast. I, I, just so many things are popping into my head. What you can do with two different song sets. Now, let's talk about when they said back to a more world basis. Obviously, again, we don't know exactly what this means. It could mean a lot of things. But I do know that world was literally the peak of this weapon so that again makes me very excited. Some of the changes that they made in Rise that I kind of hope reverts back to that world basis that they're talking about, there's a few things and as far as why I was not the biggest fan of Rise Hunter
hunting horn. We don't need to go into deep detail about that. I made a whole ass video for it. One of the first things is the encores. There were no encores in Rise and Sunbreak. I hope that that gets reverted back to the world basis. One of the, if not the best move that was added to the hunting horn arsenal was kind of paywalled in Rise and Sunbreak. Like you had to build a gauge up to use it when in world you could just freely use that after any attack. It's kind of like when you're watching a streamer on Twitch and like you're not subbed. Everybody else is just like watching the streamer and you're stuck behind a bunch of ads. I'm streaming on Twitch, by the way. But hopefully Capcom gives us Twitch Turbo and we'll be able to use that spin attack whenever we want. Now, one of the things that really, really hurt in the changes in Rise and Sunbreak was the fact that the song list was drastically reduced. And they kind of had to do this because along with that song list being reduced, they also also really really simplified the inputs needed to play your songs so they could only have so many songs available because one note and that was the song that you were playing this took away from the complexity of playing hunting horn as well that people really enjoyed and what made it sort of a chess match against the monster because you had to think about not only what attack you were using but the note that that was playing in correspondence to the songs that you wanted to play yourself there was even a mode for the hunting horn that completely removed recitals altogether like you didn't even have to actually play your songs just as you did the notes in the attacks it would automatically play the song for you which i totally understand the concept but that should be a completely and totally different weapon instead of that being a hunting horn thing all in all i am very excited for the future i know that this is just the smallest tidbit that we can kind of like extrapolate anything from but if they could have said one thing returning to a world basis is exactly what I needed to hear myself. I know even playing some of the previous titles or playing honestly any Monster Hunter, Hunting Horn felt a little bit tainted to me because in its current state, it was something that I did not enjoy playing. So I didn't even wanna bother playing the other versions of it because like I, I wasn't gonna be able to play the weapon that I loved again, so what was the point? I was just making myself miss something that I was never gonna get again. But now that we have this information, guys, who knows, who knows? It might be the greatest version that we've ever had. I'm might still end up loving the world version more than anything, but I am very much excited and very much hopeful for what's to come in Monster Hunter Wilds. And now this is not to say that there was nothing about Rise and Sunbreak Horn that I liked. There were definitely things that I liked and honestly wouldn't mind seeing return in this version of Hunting Horn. Things like the shock waves, uh, the iframes on the recital. There are definitely things that I like that might be something that I dive into in a future video, but for sure there are things that I like. It was just the totality of the weapon in Rise and Sunbreak just wasn't for me. With that being said though, with all of the things that we already know like weapon swapping and the fact that we are going to be going to a more world-based horn, I have no problem saying that this is probably going to be my favorite version of the weapon and I cannot wait for it. I know that there was a lot of people that felt like me as far as like they felt like they kind of changed too much with Rise and Sunbreak horn and obviously for some reason, there are people out there that still do not understand the weapon Hunting Horn, and for some reason, they like telling on themselves that they don't know how to play the weapon, but for all of us that have enjoyed it for so long, I know this is a breath of fresh air and a bit of relief that we are going to get a weapon that we are going to absolutely love in the next Monster Hunter game. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm head over heels. As soon as I saw this, I got so excited. I was like, I, I got to make a video about this one. But if you haven't been uh, keeping up with things, I am streaming over on Twitch now. If you guys want to come hang out, I would love, love, love to get back into making more videos. It's going to be a bit dependent on like Wild's information and things that we get. But guys, we're back. We're so back, baby. Hunting Horn is back and I couldn't be more excited. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Happy hunting. And I will see you guys in the next video.